Bad news can be found in the caucus minutes from Netflix. For all intents and purposes, Harry and Meghan are merely pawns waiting to be booted. Greetings, companions. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Royal Family News Update, where we will be bringing you the latest breaking news about the royal family's most famous hypocrite pair, Prince Harry and Ms. Netflix has come to terms with the fact that the supposedly young and graceful thoroughbred it paid $100 million for is, in fact, much older than originally stated. Since it was obvious Harry and the hunched-over old horse wouldn't have any chance of winning, it's probable someone at the palace advised they just let them hang themselves. Unbeknownst to the Markles, Netflix was now embarking on an entirely different course, recouping what it could while the Markles jumped off a cliff. Netflix regarded them as a chance to gain exclusive access to the royal family, including the chance to learn previously unknown details about the royal lifestyle. They are in the entertainment industry after all, and this would make for fascinating viewing. Netflix cares just about making money and doesn't take into account any other factors. Netflix benefits greatly from a war that escalates tensions amongst its fan bases, as this generates renewed buzz and, ultimately, viewership. There are always hundreds of people working behind the scenes of a video production. If you wait around until the end of a movie or documentary, you'll see a long list of credits that runs on for about five minutes, naming everyone from the folks who carry props on stage to the people who do the catering. The creature probably caused a lot of trouble and embarrassment wherever and wherever she was allowed to have input into the production. American Union jargon has it that angry workers work to rule, or put forth bare minimal effort. Is it true that your superiors on the third floor have ordered you to track down more compelling imagery of the relentless paparazzi following Harry and Meghan? Fifty pictures of vacant rooms, deserted streets, and so on were not sufficient? Well, all right then, I'll simply look up paparazzi on Google Images and see what I can find. It's to her taste. Everybody, get ready, because we're off to the races. What's more, get that a hole off our backs. The trailers, which ran for one minute, were put together from thousands of photographs that were narrowed down based on some kind of script that the creature required to be changed dozens of times to suit her daily whims. The whole Netflix production crew must have been completely wiped out after that. At last, a bit fed up, if word came back that she liked it, then that was the criterion by which all judgments were decided. Simply said, in order to push this product out the F asterisk C King door, the normally competent and experienced senior executives, managers, directors, and production personnel put their thinking caps aside to appease the creature. It was necessary to time its release with something else to help drum up buzz. The memoirs of the husband to be were the intended victim. A bright side? The finished product will give millions of observant, critical people all around the world unending material for laughter and mockery. In order to avoid counting as a Netflix viewer, I intend to restrict my viewing to publicly available video and related discussions. In the past few years, I've grown increasingly dissatisfied with Netflix. I can't believe they can't figure out how to make money beyond the shock factor. Making money off of documentaries that are grounded in fact and created with some analytical distance from the protagonists is far more challenging. Although I recognize that I am in the minority on this point, I firmly believe that anyone's life story can become a compelling documentary because every person on this planet has something special and interesting to share, including valuable lessons that can be learned from seemingly mundane experiences. This couple's goals were unnecessary ludicrously excessive. Honestly, their personal and formative life story might have actually been of some interest if they had decided to be servants to the Commonwealth had bent their heads together to learn how to do that service wisely, consistently, courageously, and humbly, like some of the other senior royals do every day. Nobody comes out on top in this Netflix drama. It seems like everyone loses, most noticeably viewers everywhere. We can only hope this serves as a wake-up call for Netflix, and that the company makes a commitment to improve in the future, both for themselves and for the rest of us. One commenter said, not everyone at Netflix is stupid. It is now blindingly obvious that Netflix lost their senses when they first signed them up, soiling their pants in expectation of the money they'd make. 
Since those heady days, the awful truth has been exposed. Hollywood has had its fair share of narcissists over the years, but never have such a talentless couple also been such stratospheric narcissists. This is not a good mix. After Netflix paid to have a few races fixed in order to keep them quiet, they busily began recording their own demise, effectively ending a very contemporary tragedy. It will be a box office smash because it is terrible, intriguing, and hardly believable, but it will be true, unlike their prior efforts. The fact that Netflix and the Sussex family have become inextricably linked is undeniable. While Meghan and Harry were still senior royals, they duped Netflix into signing this deal. It's likely that Netflix was caught off guard by Meghan's decision to temporarily suspend production and relocate to the United States. The exact nature of Meghan was likewise unknown. At first, Netflix encountered skeptics, but it went ahead with the arrangement nevertheless to recuperate some of its losses. The lies that Meghan is telling are left in. Just like they were in Oprah's interviews, the story in the cut, the podcasts, and the Netflix documentaries, so that viewers can pounce. Meghan is convinced that she is being honest, but she has no idea that everyone around her is laughing at her. I am curious to know how much of the £100 million has already been paid. Seriously, I find it hard to imagine that Netflix would pay $100 million for such a fake. The health problems would be alleviated, and I wouldn't have to worry about making ends meet each month by selling my organ to pay the bills, if they would just send me a few million to waste. This pair of dolts has no concept of difficulty. It's hard for me to believe that two people with zero credentials in writing, directing, animation, or producing would be handed so much. Harry's only professional experience was in the military, and Meghan's highest professional achievement was a supporting role in a cable television soap opera. Unfortunately, it looks like her plan for an animated series was scrapped before any scripts were ever created. An expert has come to the following conclusion. I have always said this is a Shakespearean tragedy, and Act 5 is fast approaching. Paradoxically, only when it's all over will the two lead actors know they weren't acting after all. Paradoxically, Meghan will finally become the victim she always claimed to be, but never was. Leave your opinion on Netflix's alleged plan to ruin Harry and Meghan in the comments area.